Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Today I am going to be doing a 10 card one kit video with Spellbinders August 2021 card kit. And here's a look at some of the cards that I've made with the card kit. And you can see that it's all about crafty tools. There's a lot of paints and paint palettes and scissors and pencils and all kinds of fun crafty tools in this kit. I previously did an unboxing video and here's a quick look at everything that's included in the kit. You actually get a lot of stuff in this kit. There's a whole bunch of die cuts that you can use for your cards. There's a stamp set, a paper pad, a whole bunch of stuff. So if you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'm going to put it down in the description box below. So go down there and take a look at that link and check out that unboxing video. So let's get right into making my cards. So for card one, I'm starting out with this pencil pattern paper and I want to use these pencils as a border strip on my card. So I'm just putting this in my paper trimmer and trimming off the very top pencil border. It ends up being 7 8 inches tall by 4 inches across. I also have this red pattern paper and that's three and a half by two and a quarter and I layered that onto a yellow piece of cardstock that's three and five eighths by two and three eighths and then I also have that pencil shavings blue pattern paper there in the background that's four by five and a quarter that will be layered onto a piece of yellow solid cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So I'm using this die cut of the easel with the rainbow and I have this little strip of yellow cardstock that I cut down. It's about an eighth of an inch tall by four inches wide. So I'm just adhering all of these pieces together. Now I also want to let you know that all the card measurements will be in my blog. So there will be a link to my blog down in the description box. So be sure you check that out if you're interested in duplicating any of these cards. So I'm using this ephemera. It's a clipboard and then there's a paintbrush and then there's a sentiment there. It says you are limited edition. I just layered that onto the clipboard and then putting the paintbrush there off to the side and adding that to the top of the card. This kit includes pre-cut card bases which I love so I'm just adding this layer on top of a pre-cut card base. They are all A2 in size so all of my cards in this video are A2 in size. I use every single one of the card bases included in this kit. They also include um, matching envelopes which is great. So here's card one and moving on to card two I'm layering on a piece of yellow pattern paper that's two and a quarter by two and a quarter square layering that onto a piece of the dark blue cardstock that came in the kit. That dark blue square is two and three eighths by two and three eighths and then this piece of pattern paper the flower paper is four by five and a quarter layering that onto the same blue cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So just gluing up those layers and then I'm going to take some ephemera from the kit. I'm going to include the rainbow right inside that square and then there is a sentiment banner it says never grow up that I'm going to include underneath that rainbow but I am going to put some foam here not only on the butterfly ephemera piece because I want that to pop up I'm also going to put some foam on that sentiment that says never grow up on that banner. This kit does include that little foam square that you saw me get those little foam pieces from which is great. This kit comes with a lot of stuff so if you have not seen that unboxing make sure you go check it out. This is a very all-inclusive kit which I love. You get a whole lot of stuff for your money. And here is card two. So moving on to card three I'm taking this little frame and just taking the insides out. You can see the insides here. I'm not going to use those insides. That was a ephemera piece of a cloud. I'm just going to use the frame and I'm going to back this frame on a piece of pattern paper. It's like the peachy pattern paper that came in the kit and I just cut it down to two and an eighth wide by three inches high and I'm using the double-sided tape. This tape was included in the kit also which was great and I'm just taping that down to the back of that die cut frame just to keep the um, backing on there, that pattern paper on there. I am putting this picture of the girl inside of this frame. This is actually a chipboard piece. I did put some glue on the back just because I don't think the chipboard is very sticky so I wanted to make sure that it was completely secured and I'm also using the high chipboard so just adding some glue there and just putting the word high there at the bottom left side of that frame. You get two 
sheets of chipboard included in this kit. So again, take a look at that unboxing. You can see all the chipboard that's included. You also get some puffy stickers included in this kit. Um, there's some word stickers and there's some other fun puffy stickers as well of like little glue cans and paint brushes and all different things. So that blue pencil shavings paper is two by five and a quarter and I layered that on to the dots paper that polka dot black and white which is four by five and a quarter and then that's layered onto some solid blue cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths and then I have this yellow pattern that I'm putting behind the frame and it's two and a quarter by three and a quarter and you'll see that I was trying to decide how I was going to lay all this out with this card layer in the portrait view and I end up deciding to switch it up because I know I wanted to put a puffy sticker here but I wasn't quite it wasn't quite working for me so I want to show you you'll see here in just a moment how I decide to actually turn this card layer into the landscape position and it just worked better because that word friend that I wanted to use there that puffy sticker it was overlapping over the word hi and I couldn't quite get it right so here's where I turned it and it fit perfectly. That word friend, it actually fit perfectly and it didn't overlap over that high chipboard. So I go ahead and in here my yellow pattern paper. I just snip off the top there because it does extend beyond that card layer. And then I add the girl in the frame. Go ahead and glue her down. I'm actually gluing down the inside of that frame because it was just taped down on the back and it wasn't actually, that paper wasn't actually glued to the frame. So I'm going to do that now, add that to the card layer, and then I'll be able to add the word friend, which is my puffy sticker that came in the kit and it fits perfectly. So I really love how turning this just in the opposite direction, it just solved that problem. <laughs> so I add the dot for the eye. And then I'll just add a flower ephemera piece there to the top of the frame and then add this to one of the A2 card bases that came in the kit and that completes this card. For my next card, I'm using Spellbinders Essential Circle Dies, and I'm just using some washi tape to hold these two dies together. It's the largest die in the set plus the largest dotted circle. And when I run that through my die cut machine with some white cardstock, it gives me this fun die cut piece. You can see there on the table, it has the circles on the outside. And then I took the largest circle in the set and die cut the gold mirror cardstock, which was included in the kit, and that's just going to be a background for that circle. So you can see how the gold mirror cardstock shows through all of those little circles that are cut out of that die cut and it's really, really pretty. So I also have this pattern paper and I love this pattern paper because it has gold foiling on it and that's cut down to four by five and a quarter and I'm layering that on a piece of gold mirror cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I also have this strip of gold mirror paper and it measures 3 8 inch by 5 and a quarter and I'm just layering it across the center of that card front and then I'm going to add that circle die cut right on top of that and I'm also going to be bringing in some of these flower ephemera pieces that came with the kit and I'm also going to be adding a puffy sticker for the sentiment and I chose to use the words be you inside that circle. I did put the gold flowers up on foam so they are popped up so the pink ones are flat on the card front and then the gold ones are popped up using the foam dots that are in the kit and I'm also going to incorporate a butterfly and add some foam to that one as well and pop the butterfly up. I really love the gold foiling that's included in those die cut flowers. It just matches that mirrored cardstock perfectly. I just finished up this card by adding some gold gems to the center of the gold flowers and that completes this card. Moving on to my next card, I'm using the dies that are included in the kit. So I'm using this paint palette. I die cut the paint palette with white cardstock. You see it laying there on the table. And then I just cut little squares from each of the color cardstock that's included in the kit. And I'm die cutting the hearts 
that are on that paint palette. So I'm just adding those squares to the paint palette with some washi tape and then I will run that through my die cut machine. So I die cut the paintbrush out of red cardstock and out of yellow cardstock. The white cardstock I'm not actually going to be using. I, so I show it there but I didn't actually use it. And then there was this other little die that I die cut some of the gold cardstock. So you can see how I'm piecing that together. So I added that gold piece to the red and then I cut off the tip of the yellow and added that to the red as well. And then this other little piece, there's another die there and you can see it, I die cut that out of the white cardstock and just added that to the brush. So in the end it looks like that the paintbrush has yellow paint on the end. So once you add that white piece there, it just looks like the tip of that is yellow. So I'm just going to slide that paintbrush underneath the circle on that paint palette and I'm just going to attach it there with some of the tape and then glue the side down. And I did die cut that circle out of a circle die from the essential circle dies that I previously used in the previous card and that is a three inch circle that I'm just adding that paint palette on. So here I'm just going to piece in all of the hearts. All of those hearts are not the same size. So when you're adding your hearts in, you want to make sure that you're putting them in the right spots. No two are alike, so it's pretty easy to find which one goes with which. So next I have the paint tubes. I die cut the actual paint tube out of orange and out of green cardstock. And then the little layering pieces I die cut out of white and I'm just gluing those on. And then the caps I die cut out of gold mirror cardstock and just adding the caps on. And now I'm just going to start assembling this card. So I have this red strip that's one inch by four inches. So I add that first to that piece of pattern paper. That pattern paper is four by five and a quarter. And then I'll add the circle on there and then I'll add those paint uh, tubes to the side and then I'll add that to a piece of blue cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I'm going to layer up these sentiments. I want it to, I wanted to use the some kind of wonderful, but I also wanted it to say you are some kind of wonderful. So I just layered up those two different ephemera pieces so that it says you are some kind of wonderful and just added some hearts there. Those are from the puffy stickers that you see there on the screen. Just added a few of the puffy sticker hearts to the sentiment and then I'll add that to an actual card base and that's going to complete this card. For card six, I'm using a four inch circle die. I die cut a piece of this pattern paper. I didn't have enough of the pattern paper, so I just cut as much as I could cut and I ended up with a straight edge. That was actually the edge of the pattern paper. It just so happened that it fits perfectly there. If you happen to cut a full circle out, all you'll have to do is add it to the pattern paper and then just turn it over and snip off the end or the extra that's extending beyond the edge. Okay, so I added that to that pencil shaving paper that is four by five and a quarter and then the pencil shaving paper is added to a piece of blue solid cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I also have these squares, so I have a piece of blue solid, the square is three and three eighths by three and three eighths and then the polka dot paper on top of that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm just adding the small square on top of the large card um, layer and then I'm just positioning some of these die cut pieces. So I chose the die cut pieces that are all similar colors to the pattern paper that I have. The sentiment there says love who you are and I'm also going to bring in a banner that says have fun. So it'll say love who you are and have fun. I love that. And then I'm adding the little cat, the camera, and the girl. I love how her sunglasses are the heart shape and they have that beautiful teal color matches perfectly. So I'm just layering up all the ephemera pieces to the front of that square and here's where I add the banner. I'm going to add that banner there onto the square and then I pulled some black epoxy dots from my stash. Just added a few to the front and then I'm adding that to a card base and that completes this card. For card seven, I have this piece of pencil pattern paper. I cut down to four by four and an eighth. I'm adding that onto a piece of the purple pattern paper that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. It will extend, that pencil paper will extend on the edges. I'm just gonna trim off the excess. 
so after it's all cut down it ends up being four and an eighth by four inches and then I have these little strips of gold mirror cardstock that I'm putting at the top and bottom of that pencil pattern paper those gold strips are one eighth inch by four and an eighth inch and then I'm bringing in the essential circle dies again only this time I'm using a smaller circle and I'm using the gold mirror in the back just like I did with one of the previous cards and I'm going to bring in some ephemera to add to that circle so I glued that paintbrush onto the paint palette and now I'm just adding that with some glue to the circle I'm going to bring in these paint tubes and add them as well and then I'm going to add that circle to the center of my card layer I stamped out the hey crafty friend that is from the stamp set that is included in the kit stamped that out on white and just trimmed it down and backed it on some mirror cardstock added that with some foam tape underneath that circle and then I just added some scissors and a few hearts there to the bottom of that card layer then that's going to go on to an A2 size card base and that will complete this card for my next card, I cut down a piece of this rainbow pattern paper to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I also cut down a piece of white cardstock to four and an eighth by one and a half, and I'm just layering that white piece right across the bottom of that rainbow pattern paper, and just trimmed off the excess there because my white cardstock was a little bit longer than that pattern paper. I used the paint palette die that came in the kit, die cut a piece of white cardstock for the paint palette, and then I also die cut several different colors of cardstock for the hearts, which represent the paint on the paint palette. Right here you see me putting together the paintbrush. The body of the paintbrush is in the blue cardstock. I have the gold foil for that little piece at the tip of the um, paintbrush and I also snipped off a little piece of red from a red die cut paintbrush for the top part where the actual brush is and then added that little white piece um, also at the top of that brush so it looks like it has red paint on that paintbrush so here I'm just sliding that paintbrush into the circle hole on that paint palette. I did ink up the edges of that paint palette with some gray ink because I didn't want it to be completely white because it was being layered on a white strip and I wanted it to be able to have some dis distinction between the paint palette and that white strip. So that's why I added the gray to it. So here's where I'm just piecing in all of those little hearts which represent the paint and then I'm also going to stamp out a sentiment it's from the stamp set that came with this kit have a colorful day so I'm just going to stamp that there off to the right of that paint palette in some black ink and then I'm going to add some of the sequins the red sequins that came in this card kit just add them with some liquid glue in various spots around this card and then that's going to be added to a white card base and that's going to complete this card. For my next card, I die cut six paint tubes out of white cardstock, and then the layering pieces that go on top of those paint tubes, I die cut out of various solid cardstock that came in the kit, and I'm just layering them on as you see here. I also die cut six of the paint caps out of the gold mirror paper and I'm layering those onto each one of those paint tubes. Next I'm just adding some gray shading to the white areas of those paint tubes. I just think that the gray shading just adds a little bit of texture there so that it gives some distinction and some shadowing on each one of those paint tubes and because it's going to be layered on a piece of white cardstock I wanted it to be able to show up a little bit better so just use some gray ink on the edges there and now I'm just using my glue and just making sure all of those are in a straight line and gluing those down onto that white cardstock that white strip is measured at five and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches 
So that strip of white will be added to a piece of pattern paper. That pattern paper measures five and a quarter by four inches, and I'm gonna add it to the very bottom of that pattern paper so that it's flush with the bottom. I also cut a red strip of cardstock. It's five and a quarter by one eighth inch, so it's just a little tiny strip just there to have a border between those cardstock colors, the pattern paper and then the paint tubes. And that's layered onto a red solid cardstock that's five and three eighths by four and an eighth. I stamped out Hey Crafty Friend on some white, trimmed it out, and I'm just adding some of the Puffy Heart stickers to the left of the sentiment. I ended up layering the yellow one on top of the turquoise one. And then I just added that to an A2 size card and that completes this card. So moving on to card 10, I am just making a background, my basically my own pattern paper using ephemera pieces from this kit. So I have a piece of white cardstock cut down to three and three quarters by five. And I'm just positioning these die cut pieces in various spots around the edges of this white cardstock piece. And once I have everything how I want it, I'm just kind of layering, laying this out just to see how it's gonna look. I'm going to be using a chipboard piece that says have a very wonder filled day and I'm going to put that in the middle. That's why I don't need any die cuts on the middle portion just along the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all of these down. They will extend beyond the edges which is what I'm going for. That's the look that I want and I'm just going to turn it over and then just trim off the excess. So that layer is going to be added to a piece of red pattern paper that measures four by five and a quarter. And then I also have a piece of yellow cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then that entire layer will be added to the yellow as well. And then for the middle, I have a piece of white cardstock. It's two and a quarter by three and one eighth. And then I have that pattern paper that's two and an eighth by three which is then added to that white cardstock. So I am gonna put glue on the back of this chipboard piece and then I'm bringing in one of these paper clips and adding it to the top. And then I put some double-sided adhesive foam strips on the back of that and then adding it to the front of the card. This is a perfect card for back to school, either for your child, grandchild, even for a teacher. I think that's super cute for a back to school card. And then just adding that to the front of an A2 size card. So that's going to complete this card, and here's a look at all 10 cards I created with Spellbinders August 2021 card kit. So I'd love to hear which card is your favorite. If you'll leave me a comment down below and let me know which one you like the best, I love to read your comments. And if you're interested in this kit, there will be a link down below, and you can head on over to the Spellbinders website and take a look at more information about their card kit. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye bye.